Hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. You know what it is. It is time for lunch. And what I am going to show you guys what I'm making today is I have a taste for some stuffed uh, mushrooms. And what I am using is I'm going to be using these Baby Bella's whole mushrooms. Of course, I'm going to break this off because I cannot stuff them. With this on okay I'm going to chop up a jalapeno to put in my Italian meat sausage and I'm also at the, going to add in some cheese at the bottom before I stuff and then to top it off the breadcrumbs so I can have a crunch I am going to be using the Italian style breadcrumbs so let's go ahead and get it all ready Okay, let's go ahead and cook half of the mild Italian sausage. Let's go ahead and chop this jalapeno up so we can go ahead and put it in the sausage. Okay, you guys, our jalapenos is chopped up and I like to chop them very small. So let's go ahead and put them in the sausage. I have the sausage here and I also have my meat chopper. Let's see if I could do this with both hands. It's probably not going to work for me. I probably will have to come back, chop this up. Yes, and I'll be back. Okay, I have put in the sausage and the jalapenos together. Let it get all happy. I did not cook my sausage all the way through because it is going in the oven and to finish cooking, okay? So now let's go ahead and clean these mushrooms and get them stuffed. And I'll be right back. Okay, you guys. I want to come on here and show you guys. These are some pretty good size mushrooms, okay? So, to get them like this, in order for you to stuff them, I was coming on here to show you. So, let me move these to the side. You have to take it. Take your spoon and go around and just dig the inside out just like that but be careful because you can't break it to where you know it'll fall apart on you and that's just how you get it so you can get ready to have it stuffed now I can add this into the breadcrumbs or into the meat but I'm not I'm just gonna go ahead and you know toss that out and throw it in the trash so and that's what I do and I'm gonna show you guys when they are stuffed, let me see, I took them out of camera. I don't, let me show you one more time. Let me show you this one. You take it. If you guys like mushrooms, a lot of people don't like mushrooms, but I love mushrooms. So I love mushrooms on my steaks. I love to make pizza, mushroom pizza. And there you go. Just like that. Okay. So I see you guys when I get ready to stuff them. Let's go ahead and add our cheese to the bottom of the mushrooms. Okay, I have put the cheese at the bottom. As you guys can see. Now I'm about to stuff them and put the breading. I did preheat my oven to 350. And let's go ahead and get them stuffed. Okay, they are now stuffed with the jalapeno sausage. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to clean your mushrooms without getting them wet. Because if you get them wet, they will not sit up like this. They will be too soggy and they wouldn't come out right correctly. So, I'm going to show you guys how... I clean my mushrooms before I stuff air, stuff them. And these are organic mushrooms. So let's go ahead and put our breadcrumbs. So we can go ahead and put them in the oven. Okay, you guys. I have put the breadcrumbs on top, as you can see. And you already know me. Put some parsley on that bitch. You know, I put extra because I'm extra like that. So let's go ahead 
and put these in the oven until our mushrooms seasoning bread topping is crunchy and you guys remember when I purchased this off of Amazon so your food would not stick and I'm going to once I turn this camera off I'm going to turn it back on to show you guys how I clean my mushrooms without having to get them real wet okay let's go ahead and put them in the oven okay you guys here is a mushroom I'm about to show you guys how to clean it without getting it soaking wet because if you get them wet they're not they're going to be soggy they're not going to stand up correctly and they will fall over but you know mushrooms build their own water so what you do is you take a damp wet it's not wet all the way as you can tell you take a wet paper towel and you flip it and you wipe it off just like this okay look at that you see it coming off because if you like I said if you yeah see how good and clean it is now if you soak it and wet it and then let it dry it's still not gonna do correctly so I'm going to turn the camera back on when the mushrooms are done and I'll see you in a minute I just wanted to show you guys I only use half and this is how much I have left over and I also still have some in the skillet for dinner tonight and I'm going to save this here and make me a um, pepperoni sausage and real bacon pizza with the large mar uh, mushrooms so once I get that large mushroom I will be showing you guys how I make my stuffed pizza mushrooms okay okay you guys I have pulled them out the oven as you can see they are done this is how I like mine I don't know about you if you ever make them if you ever tried them before but I have to take them off that pink thing because it was making them dry looking and I couldn't have them looking like that so let's go ahead and plate Okay, now I have plate them. Focus. There we go. They do shrink, you guys. They do shrink. Okay? Because remember how this one was real big? And that was the biggest one. But they do shrink down. And they do look like this because they are the brown Bella mushrooms. Like, comment, and subscribe if you guys like stuffed mushrooms. And you already know I'm about to turn me on a good movie, kick back, and enjoy my lunch. I'm not going to eat all, well, how many I have on here, six? Yeah, I'll probably eat like three and then save three. But until I turn this camera back on with another cook with me, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bon appetit, honey. Look at that. Oh, yes. That parsley bitch.